Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. And today we're taking a look at the Game Boy Core. And I actually love this because there's no real easy way to get Game Boy on TV. There's different devices, there's Game Boy players, but honestly this is absolutely incredible. Before we get too far into the other, do me a huge favor, go down below and hit like and subscribe and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and you want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. But kicking it off with Kid Dracula here. The Game Boy Core is absolutely stunning because I think that the Game Boy screen did not do justice to the graphics the Game Boy could actually put out because obviously it was a black and white system until you get to the Game Boy Color which we'll be featuring in a different video but the screen on the Game Boy was just so subjectively bad. I mean back in the day it seemed amazing but if you hold a Game Boy in your hand now it does not look good. So being able to see the graphics in full clarity on something like the Mister just adds so much character, charm, and enjoyment to actually playing Game Boy games. Because a lot of these games aren't that simple. They can be complex, they're really good games, but if you have to actually sit around on an original Game Boy and play them, it can be slightly cumbersome. Now I have a Game Boy with a modified screen, so it's a much better quality LCD, but that also requires a little bit of soldering work and time to take care of. So having something like the Mister is great. And you can even do fun things with the palettes. So you can actually turn on that yellow looking screen. I actually think it looks good for some games. For some, I don't. And you can turn auto save as or off as well. But there isn't that many options for the Game Boy Core compared to all the other cores. You'll see them down here. I pretty much leave everything exactly how it is. And if I feel like playing with that yellow palette, I'll pop it on. But I just think that this is a great example of what Mr. does super well. Which is to say it's doing a better job playing Game Boy games than a Game Boy actually would. Now I know that's a subjective opinion and there is something to be said for actually holding a Game Boy in your hand. It is a fun experience. I had one when I was a kid and it's one of my wife's favorite handheld consoles of all time because she had one as a kid. But if you want to play Game Boy today and you want to play it on your TV and you want to see all those sharp pixels and exactly what the artists and designers at Nintendo were doing back then, then Mr. is an absolutely excellent way to play Game Boy. And that's why I love playing the handheld cores, sometimes more even than the console cores, because this is the best version of it to me. Because, you know, I have a Vita, I have a 3DS, I have a DS, Game Boy Advance, I have every handheld ever made. But I'm not going to sit down on my couch and play them all that often. I've collected them, I like checking games out for them. But compared to consoles, it's not really where my love lies. And now for me, this is a super huge benefit because I have wanted to do series on Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games. But getting video out of them is extremely complex and I honestly haven't wanted to sit down and deal with it to get the captures. And I really don't like using software emulation if I can avoid it. But now I can do a series on the Game Boy on the channel using the Mister, and everything will look absolutely perfect. There is no lag in it. I'm missing here, but that's because I've been sucking at the mini game, and I've always sucked at this particular mini game. But everything looks great. Everything sounds great. Everything plays great. This is what I wish the Game Boy was when you held it in your hand. And it kind of makes me want to actually try to portableize a mister with a battery backup and build some sort of enclosure. Maybe one day because I need to buy another mister, and I don't really feel like spending that money right now. But moving right on here, we have another absolutely incredible game. If you've never played any of the Demon Crest series, any of these games, you absolutely owe it to yourself to play them. It's not a review, I just wanted to show it for the Game Boy footage, but this entire series is flawless. Just check it out. But again, everything looks amazing. All the detail in these rock walls here, that's stuff that doesn't really show up on a native Game Boy screen. It is kind of muddy and you can't pick up the fine detail. But when you put this through HDMI or even an analog signal from the I.O. board, it just looks perfect. And everything sounds great too. Enjoy some classic Dr. Mario music here and I'll be back in about 30 seconds to tell you more about why you should be playing your Game Boy games on a mister. <laughs> There's something about hearing that music with that full digital quality that just sounds even better than I remember. And I'm just so nostalgic for that type of music. Maybe you didn't grow up with Game Boy, but if you did, that's definitely gonna be the nicest you've ever probably heard it. And now moving right over here to Tripped World, 
A lot of times the Game Boy could do things that you didn't think were possible. This intro looks absolutely stunning. The graphics are great, the pixelization is nice, all the shading, everything like that. It looks really good. But again, if you play this on an original Game Boy with the original screen, you're going to be losing so much of that detail. And a lot of these games, if you play them on the Mr. Core, are going to feel like the first time you've played them, they're going to feel that new because we have these clouds going by. We have the mountains in the background, all that fine detail on the rock in front here. And those are things that just kind of get blown out a little bit. I would say I actually like the yellow on Tripped World. I don't know what it is about it. I don't love it on all the cores, but I love that it is an option because those original Game Boy screens definitely have had that same yellow and I appreciate that it is available here and that's kind of just the basics of the Game Boy Core it just always looks better that's the number one takeaway here is that in HDMI or on analog video RGB out this looks spectacular now if you do have a Game Boy and it is fully modded and you have a flash cart for it should you buy a mister to play it well I still think you probably would really enjoy it because the best part is playing this on your couch. I can hook my mister up to the TV, have a wireless controller, and just play Game Boy games, and I do love that. I'm putting it back onto the just grayscale color here as well. You lose a little bit of the fine detail, I feel, in that yellow color palette, but it's not so much that it really affects anything. But a lot of these games, you know, Game Boy games could be quite short because they were portable experiences, but some of them actually take a little bit longer to play. So being able to just sit on your couch, save your game, deal with it that way is an awesome thing. And now just moving over to Super Mario. It's such a strange game. It looks great. It looks like how I remember it. It's one of the original Game Boy games. But Gunpei Yokoi did some strange things with the Mario formula, the music, the soundtrack, how things worked, that it kind of almost feels like a Bizarro World version of the Mario that we've all played, which isn't to say it's bad, it's still really good, it just sometimes doesn't make any sense when you're playing it. But of course, again, on the Mr. Core, it plays absolutely incredible, and I do love the soundtrack in this game. And if you've never played an original Game Boy, the speakers are pretty bad. I mean, it's mono, that speaker doesn't sound very good when it was new, and after, you know, probably 30 some odd years of it sitting around, if the speaker has been changed out, they can sound particularly terrible. If I buy a Game Boy, the first thing I'm going to probably do is swap the screen and swap the speakers. And with the Mr. Core, we don't have to worry about either of those. The screen looks amazing, and you don't have to change any speakers because you're getting pristine audio quality out. I never understood why the Koopa shells explode in this game versus doing what they do in every other Mario game. Like I said, it does some strange things that you've just never seen before. But if you've never played Game Boy games, or if you've only played a couple, this is a great way to get into the catalog, as there are a ton of absolutely outstanding games that are worth their time to check out, like Castlevania II Belmont's Revenge. And this is the easiest and nicest way to play them. And it's one of those things, I feel like handheld retro game collecting, or playing these retro games that were on handhelds, is a little bit of a bigger barrier to entry than buying something like an NES or a Super Nintendo. Because those just hook right up to your TV and you play them like you'd play a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox Series X, anything like that. Collecting and playing retro handheld games requires original hardware, and not as many people are going to go out and try to find handhelds, or at least that's my opinion. And I will say, as good as the controls are, these birds are still a massive pain in the butt in Castlevania. But yeah, that's kind of just my opinion on the Game Boy Core. It is one of my favorites on the system, as far as Mr. is concerned, that I'm realizing that I really enjoy all the handheld cores because they give me a brand new way to play games that I have played before and genuinely enjoy, but I'm getting a better sounding, better looking, and in some instances, better controlling experience than when I actually had them as handhelds. But you tell me, have you played the Game Boy Core yet? What do you think? Do you own an original Game Boy or did you play one? Have you modified yours? Because I know there's so many mods available right now for these original handhelds. There's IPS displays that you can buy and fit in. There's new control membranes. There's not a lack of modifications for handheld systems where they can get quite expensive. For the cost of a mister, you could buy a Game Boy, mod out the screen, change the lithium-ion battery, change the speaker on it, maybe add a new case, and be pretty close to the price of getting a mister. And of course, if you buy a mister, you then get access to all the other cores. And don't get me wrong, a fully refurbished and modified Game Boy is amazing, but at the same time, I'm not the type of person that's going to spend money, you know, two, three hundred dollars per handheld to modify it to within an inch of its life to make it look the absolute best. Maybe you are, and I'm totally not judging that, it's just kind of everyone's thoughts. Short sure of that, thanks so much for watching. Do me a huge favor, go down below and hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And we'll see you guys next week for more Mr. Bye-bye.